to the question asked by Osama Lapiop. How resurrection works on a person when he is burned or the body ate by sharks? This is the question asked by Osama that we know that in Islam the day of resurrection and all the human beings will be resurrected on the day of resurrection. So the question is that if a person has died because of burning, his body is completely burned or if he is eaten by shark, then how will he be resurrected on the day of judgment? And a similar question is asked by the non-believers in the Quran in Surah Qiyamah, chapter number 75, verse number 3, 4, 5, 6. And when they ask in Surah Qiyamah, chapter number 75, verse number 4 onwards, that how will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be able to reconstruct our bones? You know, after we have been buried and our bones have been disintegrated, how will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be able to reconstruct our bone? So Allah replies and says, we can not only reconstruct the bones, we can reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of the finger. So Allah replies that when the unbelievers say, when we are buried, when our bones are got disintegrated, how will Allah be able to resurrect us? So Allah replies, we can not only reconstruct the bones, we can reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of the finger. So what does Allah mean by saying, he can not only reconstruct the bones, he can reconstruct in very in perfect order the very tips of the finger. It was in 1880 that Sir Francis Galton, he discovered fingerprinting method. And Sir Francis Galton in 1880, he discovered and he told the world that no two fingerprints, even in a million people, are, are identical. The fingerprints of each individual human being differs. That's the reason the police, the CID, uh, the CIA, as well as the FBI, to identify criminals, they use the fingerprinting method. Whenever there's a crime, if you want to come from who has come to rob or who committed murder, we check the fingerprints. Imagine what we discovered recently, hardly about 150 years back, the fingerprinting method. Allah mentions in the Quran 1400 years ago that he can not only reconstruct the bones, he can reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of the finger. So this even goes irrespective of whether a person dies by burning to death or whether he drowns or whether he is killed or eaten by a shark. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment can reconstruct in very in perfect order the very tips of your finger. So for Allah, it's very easy. Allah says, kun fair kun, be and it is. So Allah who has created us for him to reconstruct on the day of resurrection, irrespective of whether you have died because of burning or sharks have eaten you or your bones have been disintegrated, for Allah to do that is very easy. Hope that answers your question.